I win TV. See what others can't. Welcome to the sixth edition of the weekly investment news show, I win TV, where you win because we use algorithms, not people, to select stocks and manage risks in the markets. We're the robots you can trust. Why watch the talking heads on TV, who might have a hidden agenda, when algorithms have been shown to make better decisions? Which company can you find Retail out there right now that has a record the as... Line. If our markets are down 25% and gold is up 50%, it, it wouldn't be a total trap. shock. Get those old voices out of your head and start watching iWin TV to get better results from your investments. Today we're going to cover stock selection followed by risk in the equity markets and interest rate risk. Past performance is not an indication of future performance. Please pause this video and read the disclaimer. First let's talk about the current 50 stock portfolios selected by natural selection algorithms with a bias toward growth stocks. As you can see there are currently 50 stocks in the portfolio with 78% winners and 22% losers. The average winning return is 39% with the best stock NVIDIA, returning 537% since it came into the portfolio about two years ago. Followed closely by AMD which is up 450% since it came into the portfolio about a year and a half ago. The average loss is 6% with the worst stock BlackBerry losing 18% since it was purchased over two months ago. Here are the recent buys and sells. The natural selection algorithm sold two more financial stocks this week including Prudential and Comerica. This week the natural selection algorithms bought Adobe Systems, ASML Holding, Intuitive Surgical, Electronic Arts, and Unilever. So now for a read of the equity markets. The risk in the equity markets increased again this week. The risk level of the Dow Jones Industrial Average remained flat at low risk, while the S&P 500 increased this week from low risk, to moderate risk. The risk level of the Nasdaq 100 increased to high risk, and the risk level of the Russell 2000 remained flat at high risk. And now let's talk about the current interest rate environment. Our measurement of interest rate risk shows interest rates transitioned to low risk over two weeks ago. Your government treasury investments should be fine for the near term. Last week, we published a special edition of iWin TV, where we discussed cryptocurrencies. Are they overvalued? Click on the link in the comments below, or click on the link at the end of this video to learn more about cryptocurrencies and their current valuation. That is all for this week, August 19th, 2017. If you enjoyed watching our new iWin TV channel, please subscribe below and leave a comment. Until next week, we'll be watching the markets for you. To bring you the latest opportunities and risks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to get better results from your investments. I win TV. See what others can't.